I'm high as I've ever been, higher than heaven sits. Roll up my weed and think about my exes and jealousness, how to stay current and relevant. Here is the Akaso DL12 dash cam mirror. This product will effectively give you limitless visibility out the back with its two camera system. Here in the box you have the mirror, backup camera, AC plug for your vehicle, a GPS sensor, an interior trim tool, and your mounting accessories. Oh, it looks like they also gave us some candy. So this mirror is a product of the future. Not only does it double as a dash cam that records the front and the back, but it gives you that digital mirror tech that companies like GM and Toyota are bringing into their new cars. You can basically buy this and have the same or even better features with this mirror cam. So here's the main uh, unit. It does plug in with a uh, mini USB. As you can see, once you automatically start it up or boot it up, uh, it automatically starts recording. So here are the settings. You do have to format your micro uh, SD card. So it does also come with all these other features here in the OS and it is a touchscreen, so it's fairly easy to use. The main camera is a Sony sensor. It records at 2K. The rear records in 1080p and these are the features that it comes with. Here for the installation for this Akaso DL12, it's fairly simple. Um, you plug in um, your AC plug into your existing one on your car, if you have one. Um, and then all you have to do is put, put the mirror on and extend the rubber loops and attach it to the bottom so it fits nice and snug. And Keep in mind that there is a little film on it that you have to remove. Um, so if you're having trouble seeing out the back, um, you may or may not have already taken off the little film, protective film on it. So what I did is in my mouse pathfinder, I took it along the back and put it in the back window uh, as the window does open up separately on the Nissan pathfinder. Um, so I went ahead and put it right through the window and it fit perfectly fine. You can also go ahead and um, attach the red wire for the backup camera to your reverse light. So whenever you put the car in reverse, the camera knows to put up the backup camera with the guidelines. And for mounting the backup camera, um, it does come with a few screws and a metal plate to attach it to and even a little adhesive uh, double-sided sticker. One thing I have noticed with this mirror is because this does go on top of your existing uh, mirror. Um, if you have one of those smart mirrors with buttons on it that connect to your garage or something, um, it'll probably activate those buttons um, especially this one. So here in the Hyundai Azera, you see um, I have a garage opener on the existing mirror and once you install this on, sometimes it just uh, puts pressure on the button and it opens and closes your garage. So what I did is um, I went ahead and installed this um, on my mom's Pathfinder as that does not have a smart mirror um, from the factory. There's no buttons or anything and it fits just fine doesn't intrude on any buttons or garage home link or anything like that. And honestly, um, in an SUV or a hatchback where you can easily take it through the back and mount it to like the back uh, hatch is definitely a lot easier than a sedan. Because um, with the sedan, you have to put it all the way through the seats. You have to fold down the seats if possible uh, with your car and then stick it out the back trunk, which is kind of a hassle. It's much easier on an SUV or hatchback. So as this is a two camera system, um, here you can see uh, it does record the front and the back if you want it to. Um, you can view the front and the back at the same time simultaneously in the split screen view on the monitor.
It also tells you your time and the date and everything like that. And it can tell you your speed um, very accurately if you plug in the, the GPS uh, sensor. But honestly, um, driving with it, um, if you're worrying about brightness, this thing is definitely uh, bright if you mount it towards yourself like a traditional mirror. Um, your passengers uh, won't really be able to see it as bright as you would. The viewing angle on this thing isn't the greatest, but it is intended just for the driver to see so you won't uh, distract your passengers or anything, which is a great thing. Here is the onboard uh, camera footage. So as this does use a micro SD card, um, pop one in, pop one out, plug it into a, a camera or anything else, plug it into your computer and you can transfer all the footage. Let me know how you think this mirror looks. Um, this is at night driving, so keep in mind the quality at night will definitely suffer, uh, especially with the rear camera. So the front camera, uh, records at 2k and it is a much higher quality sensor than the one in the back but honestly the one in the back does a pretty good job even at night so that's basically it for this video um, I'm gonna include the link for this product down below on Amazon and if you're wondering what I I have been recording with this whole time I was using my $40 um, action camera the cross tour uh, CT 9000 um, it's also listed down below in the description along with my other camera accessories. So make sure you like and subscribe for more videos. Um, I'm going to be trying to do some more reviews on car products and even cars. Make sure you subscribe to the Automotive Hustle for more car reviews. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys later. Peace.